Hey guys, happy Splasher here. Good morning. So right now we're going to continue with the world event. So yeah, so let's go check it out. Currently we are in chapter three right now, the new truce. And so yeah, we'll get it started. So we're on this quest here, defeat Conspirator. We'll hit the go. And then we'll go to Conspirator here. And it looks like they have a skill. So whenever any hero attacks, we'll deal damage to the warlord. Not one step further, and now lay down your sword and run while you still can. I'm not going anywhere. The Dryads told me this was where Tani's little sister was being kept. So, what's the meaning of this? What little sister? The one abducted by Sly and his followers? Lies. All lies. Who's telling the truth here? Okay, let's take a look at the buildings. And then we also have this hero here, which will do some poison and also has flight. We'll go with the Fury here on lane B. With the multiple attacks, as you see there. And now, tell me the truth. What's in the shack behind the lilac rock? That's, that's where Tani's little sister is. She wasn't abducted. We hid her here ourselves, but we were forced to. Sly's forest guards attacked us left and right, and we couldn't prove they were behind the attacks. We needed a rallying cry. That is so dishonorable. No doubt you've suffered much. Uh, it's time to talk to that Sly. I'm sure he's no picnic either. Sly the raccoon, I get it. All right, so that was Conspirator. We'll head back to the roadmap and continue. Okay, hey, we got another ad over there. Okay, we're on this next quest here. Activate Legendary Obelisk in place of power four times. We are a little short on runes right now, so we'll actually hold off. Actually, you know, we know, we'll open some chests and see if this will work. So we'll activate the Rare Obelisk. As you can see, our level is now three for increased rewards. We'll go to the Legendary Obelisk over here, and then we'll skip the animation, and hopefully we get either the new hero or some bonus runes. Legendary. We got the new hero, so that's good. And we got some gems, which actually are useful because now we can actually do Legendary Draft. Okay, we are a little short on runes right now, so we'll need to get some more by doing some more battles offline. So yeah, we will see you guys later. All right, guys, we are back. So we're on this quest here, activate Legendary Obelisk in place of power four times. As you can see, we have this completed, so we will now continue. Okay, we have the next set of quests here. We have up top, use the Dark Reaper Morgoth skin to defeat other players two times. Behind that, we have boost the event legendaries nine times. On the bottom here, we have get 1,600 souls of legendary heroes in some orange chest. We'll try and do an all three, so let's first start with this quest here. So use the Dark Morgoth skin to defeat other players two times. We'll hit the go. And this brings us over to the squad. What we'll need to do is actually get the skin. It is part of the Void Spirit family, as you'll see over here. So the Morgoth does have a cost of 5,000 gems which we will make the purchase because we do want to play around with the skin. Okay, and at this point now, we'll also equip our pet. And because we have some battles, we'll actually do those offline. So we will see you guys later. All right, guys, we are back. So currently we're on this quest here. Use the Dark Reaper Morgoth skin to defeat other players two times. We did that offline, so we will now continue. Okay, we have this next quest over here, boost the event legendaries nine times. We'll hit the go. And this brings us over to the squad. What I'll do is close this out and actually head over to the guild to activate a bonus that will lower the cost of boosting. In this case, this is the masterful enchantment, so we will activate this. And then we will head back to the squad and then boost those heroes. So first of all, this is that new event legendaries. So we'll boost that once. As you see, the cost does go up, so we want to boost a little bit more, but not too much. So that'll be number three. Okay, we'll head over next to the Tani. Boost her. Once, twice, three times. And then we'll head over to the Melio. And boost her once, twice, and three times. And there we go. So we are now complete with that quest. We will head back to the roadmap and actually do this quest down here. So we get 1600 souls of legendary heroes in summoned orange chest. We'll hit the go. 
And this brings us over to the summon hall. What I'll do is now actually, oh, you know what? I remember what I was going to do. So we do have these chests here saved from the progress rewards. They will give you legendaries. So we'll actually open up a few here. As you see, they do count for this quest. So that is number one, number two. And we're actually going to then actually, well, ugh, sorry. <laughs> we're going to head over to the league and then open up one of these chests because the one in League 1 will give you 1,000 souls. And there we go. So we are now complete with that quest. We'll head back to the roadmap and grab both rewards. Okay, we have this next quest here, Defeat Guardian. We'll hit the go. And this brings us to a battle. Looks like they have two skills here. So at the start of the turn, we'll summon three bushes to allied melee cells. And then whenever a ranged enemy appears, we'll poison them for some damage. Chieftain Sly is busy. He's getting ready for the battle ahead. He's got no time to spare for the elves' cronies. Put your blades away before I get angry. Look at the fell fires around you. Is now really the time to fight? Halfwits. Who are you calling a halfwit? I'll send you to the forefathers for your insolence, bastard. Wow. The language here. Okay. Well, let's take a look at the buildings. And then we have these bushes over here with some spikes and some block. And then we also have this here, this desert sentry, which gives some block and then also the spikes. We'll start with our Count Vlad summon, and then we'll also follow up with our Grace here on A1 to deal some random damage to clear out these buildings. Again, more bushes, and that is okay. Okay, we have our Vampire dealing some damage at the beginning of the turn. We'll go next with another hero over here. Grace has seven extra attacks because of the clearing out the bushes. All hail Sly, the mightiest of all chieftains. He's promised us the sacred thicket. He honors the way of our ancestors. Not like the old chieftain. That one was too soft with the intruders, preferring to make peace and host feasts together. Pfft. Your Sly seems to have forgotten one of Pangea's oldest traditions, that everyone has an equal right to call Pangea home. On that note, we've got to bring back the festivals. Once we finish the Crimson Harvest and purify the thicket, we'll have a feast. Oh, nice. Okay, so that was Guardian. We'll head back to the roadmap and continue. Okay, we have the next set of quests here. We have up top, form demigods, gods of war, or miracle summon 20 times. Behind that, we have Soulbind the event legendaries nine times. On the bottom here, we have spend 30,000 runes. We do want to save our runes for the end of this chapter. So in this case, we'll do this quest here. Reform demigods, gods of war, or miracle summons 20 times. We'll actually do this offline because of how the legendary draft is going to go. So we will see you guys later. All right, guys, we are back. So we're on this quest here. Perform demigods, gods of war, or miracle summons 20 times. I actually looked it through our collection, and we had both miracle summons and demigods, which resulted in double copies of the event legendary, which in that case was the sly. So this is actually pretty nice. We might be able to finish this event this time. So yeah, so we will now continue. Okay, we're on this next quest here, so bind the event legendaries nine times. As you see, these heroes are already collected, and that is why this quest is now complete. So we will now continue. Okay, we're on this next quest here, defeat Melia. We'll hit the go, and this brings us to a battle. And looks like they have two skills, so at the start of the turn, we'll poison a random enemy for some damage, and then whenever enemy poison is triggered, we'll give an extra attack to a random ally. I've left the enchanted forest to help my sisters, but well, this has gone too far. Darkness is everywhere. I can even feel it within. Well now, let's hope for the best. Maybe Tani will grant you an audience and heed the voice of nature's herald? I've tried, but it was in vain. My head is spinning. Out of my way, Lord Protector. Let's yield to the fell, if that is our fate. We're not trying to yield to the fell. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at the buildings here. Okay, and we have this Mother Owl, which will give negative attack and positive attack. Also an extra summon. We'll go with the York here on lane D to break the buildings and go for the attack boost. Come to your senses, Malia. Bale in the might of nature is behind you. Can't you cleanse the thicket of the fell? With Bale's aid, it should be enough. We'll have to channel all our powers together. 
but who will stop the Crimson Harvest? Well, looks like that's going to be me. Get to work, and I'll handle the negotiations between Tani and Sly. The peace is beginning to happen. Okay, so that was Malia. We'll head back to the roadmap and continue. Okay, we have this next quest here. Level up the event legendaries to level 15. As you can see, we already have this completed because we have our Tani... Or actually, we have our Malia at level 15, so that is why this is complete. So we will now continue. Okay, we have the next quest here. Defeat Tani. We'll hit the go. And this brings us to another battle. And they have two skills, so at the start of the turn, we'll swap the attack and health of each hero. And then whenever any hero attacks, we'll deal damage to the Warlord. Now I am strong enough to face you, Lord Protector, to face you in single combat, and destroy you. Tani, what have you done? Look at your beloved thicket. It's all up in flames. It's dying. This land has sheltered you once. Is this how you repay its kindness? Corrupting these lands with fell magic? You don't know what you speak of. We'll rebuild our home once we weed out all enemies of the thicket. So angry. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look at these buildings. And then we have this Dragara here with an attack boost at the end of the turn and also additional attack boost. We'll go with the Count Vlad summon and then we'll also go with this Yoster here on lane D. We'll take some damage off the attacks and that is okay. Okay, we have this King Taurus with some spikes and then also some heal. Uh, fortunately, the Yoster did clear out the heroes with damage, so we'll just skip the turn and attack. You'll have to see it now. This war must end. Otherwise, there will be no place to call home for neither the elves nor the pandas. The dryads shall heal the thicket, but you will have to work hard to rid yourself of the fell. Is that even possible? I will plead to bail for mercy. Oh, light, I was blind. Our home is in ruins, all because of me. My power left me blind. I will speak to Sly about a truce. You all will live in the thicket, and there will be harmony and feast for all. You have my word. Nice. <laughs> okay, so that was Tani. We'll head back to the roadmap and continue. Oh, hey, it's another ad. Okay, we have these next set of quests here. We have up top, spend 3,500 gems. Behind that, we have level up Sly the Forest Guard to level 17. On the bottom here, we have spend 50,000 runes. So we're going to do all these quests if possible. So up top here, spend 3,500 gems. What we're going to do is actually hit the go. And this brings us over to the summon hall. But instead, we will go and spend some on legendary draft. So because there are going to be a lot of battles in order to spend the 3,500, we will do these offline. So we will see you guys later. All right, guys, we are back. So currently we're on this quest here, spend 3,500 gems. We have done a lot of legendary draft offline, but we are now complete. So we will now continue. Okay, we're on this next quest here, level up Sly the Forest Guard to level 17. We'll hit the go. And this brings us over to our squad. Currently right now we have about 2,400 copies thanks to a bonus roll. I did look at the table and we do need roughly around 3,000, so we're a little short. It's unfortunate that we don't have the epic version of this hero. We have the rares, which we could do to evolve, but we still won't have enough copies, so we'll have to do the other quest instead. So down here, spend 50,000 runes. We'll hit the go, and this brings us over to the place of power. We'll spend as many legendary runes as we can, and then also save these mystical boxes for the other quests. So hopefully we get some bonus runes, or we get more of that new hero. So we'll also skip the animation. Legendary. And we got a little bit, but not quite enough to get where we need to go. Okay, and we're also a little behind in runes. So in this case, we will have to get some more. So we will see you guys later. All right, guys, we are back. So currently we are on this quest here, spend 50,000 runes. We were able to get a couple of them offline. And so we are a little short right now. We were able to also get the Sly, the Forest Guard to level 17, thanks to some good RNG. But as you can see here, we will try and get the other runes here. We are down about 2,400, we'll hit the go. And this brings us over to the place of power. What we can do is spend some gems in order to get the other runes. And so we'll skip the animation. We'll activate this one time. As you can see here, it does cost a little bit of gems in order to get the rest of the runes, but we will do so in order to make use of the runes. 
And so as you can see, we are now complete with that quest. We will head back to the roadmap and continue. And as you can see, we have both rewards again. Okay, we are on this next quest here. Open Mystical Box in Place of Power four times. We'll hit the go. And this brings us over to the Place of Power. We will now open the Mystical Boxes that we've been saving to the end of this chapter. So in this case, we will open them now. And hopefully we either get some bonus runes or some heroes that we need. Legendary. So this is not what we want because we don't really use Tani. Also, these are very low numbers. But we'll keep on opening the Mystical Box. Legendary. We're getting some more Tani. Legendary. Okay. A decent amount of Melia copies. Legendary. And a small amount of the event hero. But yeah, sometimes that is what happens in the RNG. As you can see, the rewards also increase as well. So if we do somehow get more runes at the end, we can use those and open up another mystical box. So we'll head back to the roadmap and we will continue. Okay, we are on the final quest of the world event. So this is defeat Sly. We'll hit the go. And this brings us over to a battle. And looks like they have two skills, so at the start of the turn, they will summon four bushes to an allied melee cell. And then also whenever a ranged enemy appears, it will poison them for some damage. The elves have surrendered. Well, Lord Protector, you shall always have meat and mead at my table. Now the thicket belongs to us. Hold your horses. This isn't over yet. The crimson harvest has to end once and for all. Make peace, and the elves will stay. What? Are you out of your mind? Have my people toiled for nothing, just to be left under the heel of the elves? Okay, as you can see here, we do have the bushes, but let's take a look at the other buildings as well. And then we also have this wild tamer over here at the beginning of the turn, we'll give spice to another ally. We'll go with the Grace here on A1 to get some random damage and also clear out some buildings. <laughs> okay, we have Tani over here giving some evasion to another ally, which they don't have, and then some health and attack swap. We'll go with the Dead Lord here on D3 to summon some extra zombies. And we can use those attackers to help clear out some of the buildings. And also, as seen here, we'll need the extra summons in order to break through. Okay, we'll go with the, let's see, we have the Toxic Mantis here with some attack steal and also a health boost. We'll go with the Floss here on A2 because it'll summon some extra attackers. <coughs> Sly, you're still young and rash, just like Tani. Lay down your weapons and negotiate a peace. That is what the wise leaders do. You sound like my father. But hasn't it all started with the elves? If they hadn't tried to conquer our lands and steal our crops. They sought refuge. Their forests have been burned down. What would happen have happened to you if your people was left without a home? I, uh, you're right. But this time the peace will set strict boundaries. A wise choice. Oh, and does your offer for meat and mead still stand? I wouldn't mind a pumpkin pie and roasted turkey about now. <coughs> Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> okay. Well, that was Sly. We will head back to the roadmap and continue. Okay, and here is the end card for chapter three. So Sly the Forest Guard. Sly became the chieftain of Red Pandas after his late father. As a staunch defender of his kin, he saw no need to tolerate the elves. To him, they were nothing but invaders that had to be driven out of the sacred thicket. Further ignited by their endless scheming and accusations of abducting a royal child, Sly wasn't willing to put up with them any longer. The Crimson Harvest will burn out all the rot that doesn't belong in the Sacred Thicket. Okay, so we will grab our reward. And then as you see, we did get the medal. And there's another ad. Okay, so at this point now, we are going to spend the remaining runes in order to finish up the world event. We'll head back to the place of power. And what we're going to do, normally we would be spending on the legendaries because we would be using the runes in the best way. But in this case, we will go over here and spend on the epic obelisk because we still need the epic hero. So in this case, we will just spend one at a time until epic. we get him. And well, there you go. So we have him now. And so because of that, 
we will now head back to the legendary obelisk and then start spending some more runes. Legendary. Okay, we got some more bonus runes, so that is good. Keep spending those. Ooh, we got some gems back. That's nice. So we actually got the gems back we used for the previous quest about spending on the 50,000. Keep spending. Legendary. Okay, we got some more tiny again. We'll head back to the place of power. And as you can see, the mystical box is now filled up again. Skip the animation. Okay, we got some more runes. Spend for those. Legendary. Okay, some more runes again. And also some of the event hero. Legendary. Okay. And well, we'll just keep on spending and get rid of these runes. Some more Tani. And at this point, we do have about 100 more runes in order to get the final obelisk activated. Spend a little bit of gems. Got some more runes. Some more runes. Legendary. Okay. And then we ended up with some more of the uh, new uh, event legendary. Yeah, so not bad. Uh, we did kind of struggle towards the end, but we did get some good RNG from the chest and also from the obelisks as well. And so, yeah, so we will see you guys later. This is Happy Splasher, signing off.